In today's video, I'm going to show you how I embroidered on this baby onesie as well as a baby hat all on the PE535 Brother Embroidery Machine. So stay tuned. For your supplies, you're going to need an embroidery machine and embroidery thread, your choice of fabric if you're doing an applique, no-show mesh stabilizer, tearaway stabilizer, and water-soluble stabilizer, a baby onesie and hat or any other garment you'd like to use, heat and bond and curved scissors, and 505 spray. For my design, I'm going to be using a Carter's onesie, a nine-month-old sizing, two different pink threads, and pink and white material. If you'd like me to do a separate tutorial on how I created my design in Embrilliance with the free version, please leave a comment down below. Our first step before we start embroidering is we need to hoop our stabilizers. For the baby onesie, I'm using a no-show mesh stabilizer as well as a tearaway stabilizer. I like to use the no-show mesh stabilizer on baby onesies because the onesie tends to be on the thin side. So with the no-show mesh stabilizer, when I'm done my embroidery design, you can't really see the stabilizer behind it. Once you've hooped the stabilizer, you're going to want to use 505 spray to spray on the stabilizer. This spray will allow you to what we call float the onesie on top of your hoop and allow it to embroider that way. To hoop the stabilizer along with the onesie can be a bit challenging, so that's why I like to float the onesie on top while embroidering. One tip, you'll see that the onesie is folded in half. We do fold it in half to find our center mark on the onesie. On the hoop itself that came with your embroidery machine, there are markings on that hoop that shows you where the center is. So I'm lining up the center of the onesie with that center line that's on the embroidery hoop so that when I open up the onesie and it sticks on to the stabilizer, along with the hoop, everything is centered perfectly. Once you've lined up your onesie perfectly in the center, you're going to want to open it up and then you're going to want to go through the onesie and smooth it down to ensure that it is stuck to the stabilizer. Important to note, when you're finding the center of your onesie, you will want to ensure that your onesie is inside out. And the part that you're laying face down on the stabilizer is the front of the baby onesie. Now that the onesie is positioned on the hoop, we're going to add the hoop onto our embroidery machine. I'm going through the back because I do not want the onesie to move and it's easier to add it onto the embroidery machine that way. With this brother machine, there are some knobs that you click the hoop in and that lets you know, that click lets you know that it is in place. Now that my onesie is hooped on the machine, I'm going to be threading the machine with the pink embroidery thread that I'm going to be using for this design. Here I'm using a thread stand. This is optional. You do not need this, but I do know that the thread stand does help with tension and gives you a cleaner embroidery on your item. Now that the machine is threaded, we're now going to upload our design with the PE535 Brother Embroidery Machine. The designs are downloaded onto a USB, which we insert into the machine. We will find our design, and then once we find it, we'll center it and click Start, and that will begin our design embroidering on the baby onesie. 
On your embroidery machine, you will have the option to trace the design before embroidering it. So you definitely will want to trace your design, make sure that it's centered and that it is going to embroider in the place where you want it to embroider. Once you've done your tracing, you can hit go and then your design will begin to embroider. So here you can see the embroidery machine has done an outline of the J. The next step we need to do is we need to add our fabric, which is going to go into the middle of that J to create the design. So this is the material that I'm using. When we are using material, we need to use a product what's called heat and bond. Heat and bond is an adhesive that is ironed on to the back of the piece of material that you're using. Once it cools down, you're going to peel the heat and bond light off the back of your piece of fabric that you're using. So here I'm just demonstrating that I've added the heat and bond and I'm peeling off that backing. That shininess that you see is the adhesive. So we're going to lay this material face down, put the onesie back onto the embroidery machine and the embroidery machine is going to embroider around the J and we'll see what that looks like. The embroidery machine has completed adding the thread to the fabric that we added on top. Now we need to use our curved scissors to follow the design and cut away the excess material. I have completed cutting out the excess material. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it back on the embroidery machine, which is going to do what we call a satin stitch to hold that material down into the design that I created. Coming up shortly is a demonstration of what the machine sounds like. Now that the satin stitch is finished, I'm going to be adding the name, the baby's name onto this onesie and I am going to be changing the color of my embroidery thread. So the second color is a pink color but it's slightly darker and that's because I don't want the name to fade out into the capital J that we embroidered with the satin stitch and material. I wanted a darker color thread for the name to stand out. So I'm going to change the thread here and then I'm going to find my design and the embroidery machine is going to embroider the full name on the baby onesie. Now that your onesie is completed being embroidered on the machine, you're now going to remove the jump stitches and remove the stabilizer from your baby onesie. Once you're completed removing the stabilizer and the jump stitches, you will need to apply tender touch over the stitches so that when the baby's wearing the garment, the stitches are not irritating their skin. The brand of Tender Touch that I use is made by Sulky. To apply Tender Touch, all you need to do is heat press it to your baby onesie, or you can use an iron to attach your Tender Touch. Applying heat will also attach the heat and bond from your fabric onto your baby onesie. 
To embroider on your baby hat, we will be using the exact same process as we did for the baby onesie. The only difference is, is that you're going to add water soluble stabilizer on top of the baby hat so that when it's embroidering, it's going to go through the water soluble stabilizer. The reason why we're using the water soluble stabilizer, it prevents your stitches sinking into the baby hat. So we want to make sure that the stitches are not lying flat, that there is some dimension. So that's why we're using water soluble stabilizer. Once the baby hat is done embroidering on the machine, you're going to remove the baby hat from the hoop and then you're going to remove the water soluble topper that's on top, cut away the stabilizer that's on the back, and then you will use your scissors to remove the jump stitches as I'm doing here. And here's the completed outfit. All supplies that I used in this video will be listed in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.